welcome back to the channel welcome back to serenity now the tropical park i'm building right in front of your eyes and the last i left you we have a lot of updates so first of all back here um craig moss the carpenter head carpenter he got the mechanics office done for uh kingman so kingman now has his office all ready to go he's in charge of all the mechanics and oversee most of the coasters and whatever rides we, you know, throw in this park. Um, nothing really over here. So let's zoom over this way. All right. Just watch out for the plants. Um, uh, looks like Iron Maddie finally got here. Uh, Michael's still here, so that's good. So hopefully the coaster's, you know, getting almost done or whatever. Um, actually, if you look over here, so I added the second wall height. I might drop it down a little bit, but I kind of like it a little bit higher. Um, only so, like, you can't see back here, um, you know, from the queue line in some parts of the coaster. So I'll show you that a little bit later. Um, you know, I have more big plans for the coaster, too. So the coaster's not even close to being done. Um, again, you know, I just doubled up the door and stuff like that. Um, over here, it looks like someone new is coming, and they got something important in the back, so, uh, we'll see what happens with that later. Um, yeah, here's Craig Moss, the carpenter. They are starting to work on a security booth, so I figure this is the road that leads to outside the park. So, you know, this might be, like, uh, the entrance to the backstage that they'd have to pass through security. Um, just look at that coaster, it looks cool. <laughs> um... All right, what else did we do over here? Anything over here? Not really. Um, doo -doo -doo. We'll get over here. So getting over here, another big update. We got this bridge done. So I was originally thinking about doing like a different type of bridge, but then I just had this feeling that, you know, this area is like the central hub. So I kind of have, you know, this, this first bridge here and then the second bridge here. And then the third bridge eventually will go back here. So I kind of figured all the bridges should kind of be the same. So I basically just, you know, um, copied the bridge over from the other area. And, you know, I think this bridge looks really good. I like the way it came out. I mean, to be honest with you, it would have taken me all day to, like, try to reinvent the wheel when I really do like how the bridge looks. So, um, yeah, so the bridge is now done. All right, so coming over here, uh, I don't know if I... You, no, so I added some flowers. I added some color here. Let's actually look. I added some color over here. Um, you know, nothing much. Just a little bit of pops of color here and there. Um, and I got this fence going along this side over here. Um, I do really like the fence a lot. So if you actually notice, the fence, fence is a little crooked and stuff like that. And I did that on purpose because, again, this ride is called Tropical Storm. So I kind of wanted to make it look like, you know, so like here is like a fence completely, you know, pushed back and, you know, they're all crooked and stuff. So I wanted to make it feel like, um, you know, you're getting into like some sort of disaster or something like that. Even though it like looks really nice over here, uh, the rest of the ride isn't going to look, you know, this nice. Um, added this, you know, little water feature in here. Your feet do not touch. Don't worry. I planned it all out. Um... You know, I just, I just like that part. I didn't get to the cue path yet, so the cue path isn't done. I had a new idea, and I don't like these concrete uh, paths or like this path covering. So I'm actually going to change that out to the um, uh, the firehouse roofs, and and that, that way I can change the color. Um, as you can see, the coaster house isn't done yet. But I did get like this outline of, um, let me zoom out a little bit. So I got a little bit of the outline of how it's going to look. So here you got like, you know, your, your steps leading up. I still kind of do realism. So if you actually do some sort of realism, um, the steps shouldn't be any more than two sets of steps before there's a landing. Um, that's actually like how it would be in a real park. You wouldn't have like, you know, four sets of steps without a landing and stuff like that. It's just... Uh, a safety feature that you know these parks would have um but yeah i just got like the you know overall design ready to go uh for the bottom of the coaster house and you know here's the exit over here um again if you um if you listen to me before in one of the other early episodes everything's going to be wheelchair accessible so i'm planning on making a wheelchair 
like entrance on the exit and it'll probably wrap around the side of the building and then go over here and then in this little alcove over here will be the um uh, the elevator lift for the wheelchairs um if we get over here we could see iron maddie's here and iron maddie is talking with uh tall guy gaming and michael you know uh, i'm guessing he just took a ride hopefully he enjoyed the ride enough to give the seal of approval so you know we can start getting this coaster almost done and ready for the general public um on the lift hill i had to do um the coaster actually itself i did more work on it uh the lift hill i took out one and uh, of another of the um the coaster supports just because the way i had it down here it was running into things um so i ended up like getting rid of that adding some more supports where i could um i actually spent another couple of hours on this coaster uh, if you noticed, um, uh, I ended up noticing, like, again, I'm not good at coasters, so I'm still learning, but the, um, the vertical G's were a little bit high, so I had to fix some of these, uh, these loops. Um, you know, I ended up talking to Michael from M&J Games, and he gave me a suggestion, and I did the best I could to get this custom loop, and this loop, you can see now, has, like, a different, like, overbank direction and stuff. So I tried to get the vertical G's down on these two loops. The rest of the coaster is totally fine. It's just these two loops. And to be honest with you, it is what it is. I, I did almost like two hours of fixing and I still couldn't get it down somewhat reasonable. It's still a tad bit high, but it's not terrible. I mean, again, I'm not the best coaster builder in the world. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, I ended up adding this like barrel roll right here or heartline roll. I'm honestly not sure what it's supposed to be called. Um, I just thought this area just needed a little more excitement, I guess. Um, because what happens was when I was changing these loops, um, I was losing a lot of the excitement that I was trying to keep. So I ended up like making this turn way over banked and then right into that like, like twist or barrel roll, cobra roll, whatever that, whatever it's called. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, but yeah, so I just did some work on the coaster itself. Um, over here we got, um, you know, one of the bulldozers. There is going to be a lot of terrain work on this coaster. So in typical coaster fashion, it's going to be a couple episodes before this thing's completely done. You know, I'm like trying to build this kind of realistic where like, you know, a flat ride I could plop down and they should be able to finish it in an episode or two. This is you know, gonna be a complete different overhaul. Um, again, if, if you were on this like Q path over here, if you notice, like I said, I changed it to double walls back there. So now you can't really see anything into, um, you know, the, um, the backstage area. And even like, you know, some parts of the coaster and stuff, um, it, you, you lose that backstage, which, you know, I, I really wanted to do. Um, over here, we got a lot of the transfer track, you know, outline pretty much done. So we have like the building ready to go. Um, you know, I actually put in all the wires. You have the rails and stuff. You figure, you know, this coaster was gonna slide over. Um, it fits, you know, if, if it did stop on this block section right there, it does fit a whole coaster uh, train and the coaster train would transfer over to one of these two here. Um, this'll be like the maintenance area that, you know, they're starting to work on. I might make like, um, I guess like a office or something in there because those are just walls and stuff that intersected that I ended up, you know, having to use, but uh, I'll figure something out with that. Um, I still need to like, you know, make a, a roof and, you know, stuff. So that'll get done. Uh, over here, uh, again, sorry, there's a lot of updates. Um, uh, my last episode and, um, uh, tutorial... I ended up making this uh, gift shop. So I made Stormwatch Gifts, which is a name my wife made up. I have to give her credit. Um, but I just started to make a gift shop for the coaster. I couldn't make it on the exit path of the coaster, so I just decided to make one over here. You know, just put some stuff in here, like, you know, you know, knickknacks. Here's the toy cars I always kind of use. Um, there will be a story in this area. And again, remember the, the pirate, Tropical Bob, he's you know, going from uh, area to area to search for treasures and stuff like that. So this gem might be in the story of the coaster or another ride that might be in this area. Who knows? Um, right now here we got the storm photos. Um, I have to still put um, uh, like a, a on-ride photo that will really work. You'll see it at night. 
So I still have to figure out where I want the on-ride photos to be. But like I said, if you need to see how I built this whole thing, uh, you could check out last uh, last episode, um, you know, of my tutorials, and it'll show you piece by piece and how I made this for interiors and stuff like that. Uh, over here, we got some of the workers. Uh, they're about to be making, I guess, a locker section. Because you figure, you know, like, I, you need lockers for, um, you know, the coaster and stuff like that. Especially a hanging one that goes upside down. You don't want things falling out. So, you know, we have the lockers in the front of the park, like an all-day locker. So this will be just, like, per ride and stuff like that. Um, again, oh, if I didn't show you this, I think this is a Hats Fantastic in here. And then you have, like I said, you have the, um, uh, the little crane machine. So people will come in here um, and use all this stuff. Right now it's all closed because this area is completely closed. And then, like, you know, here you have this big storage area back here for maybe the gift shop. And, like I said, it connects to um, this over here, um, the backstage or the transfer track area. Uh, we got Malo 04 still working on pathing over here. Um, I think they're getting ready for the first flat ride of this area. I believe I'm going to put it right here. Um, I have it down to two flat rides. I haven't decided which one yet. So when I figure it out, you'll see it. Um, and then just coming over here, you got some guys doing some work. They're probably finally going to get this wall and um, uh, the fencing done over here to, to finish this area out. Um, I'm thinking he's knocking this down. They're going to start planting some trees and stuff. And then you got the rest of the workers over here working on this is going to be the actual sign for the area. So like when you come into this area, this will be the sign you'll see for the area. And the name of that area we'll see in about two seconds on this update. All right, we're back with update number one. Um, there's going to be a couple updates, so stay tuned after this update. Um, so here we go. We have uh, Puerto Dorado, which means uh, golden port. Uh, and if you don't know, this is the actual village in the Pirates of the Caribbean ride that's in Disneyland and Disney World. So, like, when you're going through the actual town where the pirates are, like, you know, uh, stealing, plundering, and setting everything on fire, that's Puerto Dorado. Um, over here, we just added the fence, finished off the fence, got some, uh, you know, trees in. Um, we got some trees behind uh, Darren's Pizza Place, so it's starting to get full. Um, I added all this border around the sidewalk here. I really like the look of that. And then over here, I just finished up the, uh, the wall area and stuff like that for the little backstage for the staff only area. And then, um, you know, just the planter. I carried the planter over from the front to the side. So that got done. Um, still didn't finish this, um, these, uh, planter box. I don't know what I'm going to do with that one yet. But I did do these two planner boxes. So these are ready to go. So we'll probably have to call Jasmine over to start getting some of these uh, plants and trees in here. So hopefully she'll stop by next episode and get that done. Um, over here, here's our locker section. Again, I added the, the border in between the sidewalk and the actual pathing um, just to break it up. But we have our locker area. So here's the lockers. Um, just did a little bit of theming on it. Just try to carry it over from the building. You got the ATM back here So there's an actual path over here. So the guest will come, you know, this way and stuff like that. So that'll be pretty cool um, Right here. We got the transfer track um, It's pretty much all done right here. So we got like, you know um, Like a little safety fence right here. So this is the actual transfer track. You know, you got the um, like the, the grading right here that like the workers would be on this will be like the the computer for the transfer track So, you know, this guy is apparently still doing a little work who knows but that transfer track is done We can come down here. Here's the back of the facility So we have the ballards in so, you know, like if a truck was backing in it wouldn't crash into the um, uh, the actual uh, coaster support and you know, we got our big um, uh, garage door right here, you know, they would bring in and out the trains here and maybe some other stuff like tracks and stuff like that um, So let's go through here and this is all finished out. We have the little office So if you remember I made this little area I turned it into like a little tiny office You got your couple of uh, like, you know power generators with the, the wires going to it Maybe these you know boxes do something. I don't know. <laughs> Just it looks cool um just a little clutter right here. Obviously, there's a guy who works here inside the uh, the coaster facility. Um, we have another um, garage door here, so this will lead out underneath the the grates of, of where the transfer track actually is. And here's just more like clutter and stuff that could, 
you know, be outside. It's not a big deal if it gets wet or, you know, with the heat. And then I just added like an extra piece of track um, that they might have had that they didn't need or maybe they have to fix something or whatever. So, you know, the, the track can sit out here in, in the weather. It's not a big deal. All right. So like coming back here, we'll go up these steps. And this is the actual area where they work on them and bring in the actual trains. So you got your um, supports holding them up from the top. Uh, you got another worker here. I don't know, those are like tools or parts. I have no idea, <laughs> just put them down. Here's a couple toolboxes, you know, just some clutter. Here's the uh, control panel I had outside I copied. I figured these are for the actual transfer tracks for the, the motors that like move them along the lines and stuff like that. Um, and then it's just, like I said, more clutter over here, more toolboxes and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I just really like how this came out and it looks really good. And you got your doors inside and outside. So I always do that. So, you know, you could actually walk in and out. Um, I, will I hide stuff in some of these areas? Who knows? I, I'm not going to do all that stuff until the park's completely done. So you, if you actually want, when the park is done, you could do your own Easter egg hunt. I'm not going to show you where anything is. Uh, like I said over here, they got some of the work done for the 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 um, the queue path and the exit. They changed over the cement to this uh, this firehouse roof, so it's like a brown now. Um, same thing with over here, and then here will be the entrance exit for the wheelchair path. Um, you know the the wheelchair uh, wheelchair wheelchair area that you know they'll come. Um, you know so the people in the wheelchair don't have to wait online. They'll come there, and that's how they enter the actual ride. Um, we'll go up the exit, and it looks like Maddie is giving Michael the seal of approval. So this ride is okay, and people are allowed to go on it, so that was good. Um, getting back here, let's let's go out the exit. There's just the guy mowing the lawn. <laughs> we'll go out the exit back here, and it looks like we got our security booth pretty much almost done. Um, we got, um, I think his name was Trevor. Uh, he's got his workers doing um, some more work. I think they're going to start to put in like the barriers that lift up and down so the trucks can come in and out. But here I just, you know, added some stuff and clutter in here so it looks like an actual uh, office. You got your like, you know, cameras and your circuit breaker box and stuff like that. And, you know, you got your AC unit and, you know, obviously one person working here. And that would be this guy. This is Officer Jones from the Police Academy. So if you don't know Police Academy, he's the guy that makes all the sound effects. So um, speaking of sound effects, it uh, looks like the Treasure Ma uh, Trigger Magician Impossible 13 is showing up. I think he's going to start making some ambient sounds for us. And Jasmine's here. So hopefully she'll get to work and, you know, start getting all those uh, flower boxes done that we put in in front of the gift shop and the roller coaster. All right. So coming over here... We have, oh yeah, that truck is still here. So let's go see what that truck's about. Oh, back over here, we actually added a wall, an official wall. And it poops it out. And I'm still figuring out what to do with that body, uh, the skeleton. But we had an official wall over here. Here's an entrance and exit, you know, just in case they want to go through here for, you know, whatever reason. Um, I don't know yet. Um, but let's get over here. I heard there's some commotion in the office with Tall Guy Gaming. And here it is. So here is none other than TJ Puffs. So if you don't know TJ Puffs, he's one of the guys who runs the Discord, and he he runs the Planet Coaster um, contest with a couple other people. So in this park, he's gonna be the guy who shows up and give us all our awards to you know Tall Guy Gaming when he gets one. So if you're wondering why he's here, if you remember, and I'll leave the link below, um, I had a mini park, and I, it was for a mini park contest. And turns out I won second place, the silver medal, um, in the non-medal category. Um, there are no silver trophies, so I just had to use this gold one. But I'll put up an award up here, and he'll probably melt that down for a little tiny award we'll put up there. Um, so the other award is my first place for a restaurant, which wasn't on Discord, it was on Facebook. This one is an award for the Mountainside Escape. And again, I'll put the link below if you want to watch my tour of that. But, um, you know, I came in second in the non-metal uh, category. I'm very proud of that. Everyone who entered did a fantastic job. All the parks are awesome. Um, the one I just spotlighted last week, MB-72's uh, Tiki Falls, that was in the top category for the metal, um, the metal bracket. So, yeah, I'll start, be, I'll start doing more spotlights to uh, more of these mini parks. But some of them are just tremendous. They're so good. 
Um, but I think that's it. Uh, yeah, I think I think that's it for now. All right, so we have one more update. So that was update number two, and now I guess we'll go to update number three. All right, so I have one final update, and it's kind of a sad update. Um, I recently heard that one of the community members, Cakes, uh, Cakes T, um, passed away recently. I never had the chance to talk to him or interact with him, um, being that I joined the community very late. Um, but I decided since this is, you know, somewhat of a community park, there's no reason why I shouldn't, you know, bring him in on this. So, um, I decided to close down the park for the day. All the workers are here for a memorial service for, uh, cakes and he will now be here. His memorial. Oh my God, I'm going to cry. <laughs> um, no, so I, I thought it'd be really nice to, uh, have this for him.